Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, then now you know and you guys today I'm going to be doing a comparison between the Coach Tabby pillow bag in the 26 size and the Marc Jacobs mini tote bag in the leather. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello. I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kinsey. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot. Today we have a comparison. If any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I would ask you to consider clicking the subscribe button and give this video a like and ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, without any further ado, let's get on into the video. I tried my first Alani New this morning and it's so good and I'm very wired. All right, so I do have both of these bags here. This one being the more new addition to the collection, but I have worn this one a ton, just in general throughout like fall and winter. But this one is becoming like my daily bag as of late, just because I just, grown to be obsessed with it. Let's talk about this one first, just in general, because I do feel like this has been out for longer. So let's just go ahead and talk about it. Again, it is the Coach Pillow Tabby Bag, and this is in the 26 size. It also comes in an 18 size, but I like the 26 just because it does end up fitting a lot more. It is full leather as well, and it does have like this puffy texture as you can see and then it has the classic coach dog tag and it kind of has like brassy colored hardware not like super shiny gold but more of like an aged brassy kind of gold and then when you open her up she does come with a crossbody strap so you can wear her crossbody and like on your shoulder and this is what she looks like inside if you have not seen i do have like a full unboxing of both of these bags and then i do believe that i have a review of this bag i'm not 100 percent sure but i think i do but here's what she looks like on the inside as you can see it has one big open pocket here one pocket at the back and then a zip pocket in the middle i would probably would have preferred the zip pocket to not not be here at all um i just feel like it takes up space in the bag where it shouldn't if it was just a big open hole i feel like you would be able to fit so much more in this bag it's a great bag in general i have shown what fits in the bag but i'll kind of go over that here also this bag does retail for 550 dollars if you get it directly from the coach website but I do end up seeing actually a lot of sales going on when it comes to Coach. I got this from Zappos and when I got this, they were selling this one for the price of the 18 size. It was $350, something like that. So like 200 bucks off, 250 off is fantastic. So I got this one at a really, really good deal. And then also even like Coach has sales, like the Coach outlet as well. Um, you can find a lot of really good deals. So I probably would not buy this like full price on the Coach website. I feel like that's a little bit excessive when there are so many great discounts out there. Let me see what it's made out of. I know it is leather, but let me see. So it is Napa leather and smooth leather and a fabric lining on the inside. A, the detachable short strap has a seven and one fourth inch drop. The long strap, like the crossbody strap right here, has a 21 and a half inch drop for shoulder or crossbody wear. Yeah, so also there's a lot of ways you can wear this bag. This strap comes off also. So you could even wear this as a clutch if you wanted to. It's very versatile. The measurements of the bag in general are 10 and a half inches long, five and three quarter inches high, and then it is three inches in width. So she's definitely like a pretty chunky bag. I do like it, um, but I do love again, how versatile this bag is. You can also, if you wanted to clip on the crossbody strap with the, what is this called? Shoulder strap on it. And you could just swap back and forth between if you want it crossbody or shoulder. You could wear a crossbody like this and then just have this strap kind of hanging down. And if you decide you don't want to wear it crossbody anymore, then you could just have it as a top handle and have this part hanging down. I normally don't wear it like that. I normally wear it one way or the other, like top handle or crossbody. I genuinely normally just shoulder bag this bag. That's how I typically like to wear it. I just think it looks nice. I don't really have any other reasons why. 
But then of course the strap right here, the leather strap, it is fully adjustable and removable. It has a lot of adjustability, so you can definitely make it very short or very long. And then it's got the lobster clasps. As you could probably see. But yeah, that is pretty much all about the bag. Now let's just see what fits inside. I'm gonna take out the stuff from the Mark Jacobs bag because I'm actually using that one right now. But I've got my phone right here. Of course, she fits inside. I typically put my phone like towards the back right here. And I've actually really been loving carrying my sunglasses in an actual sunglasses case. I feel like it really just protects them a lot more. I normally wouldn't carry one that's like this big and bulky, but like the Marc Jacobs one fits, like it fits in there. So I think it's fine. And then, but this right here really does take up a lot of space. So I would be able to put my sunglasses case and my phone in the back part here. But as you can see, it kind of like pushes the front part. So it's not, you can't really fit too much more in the front section, maybe you can. It's pretty malleable, so I'll figure it out. My card holder right here, of course, that I can just put in the front like that. She fits just fine. And then I have my new little baby. This is my Louis Vuitton mini pochette that I am so fond of. I love it so much. And then this right here, can it go in the front? It's pretty big. So like, there's that. I would probably, I need to take out the sunglasses case. Like it's just not gonna fit realistically in there with that. So I would probably take out the sunglasses case. I've still got my phone back there. So I could fit my card holder back here with my phone and that would be totally fine and then also just remember there are so many things inside of my mini pochette like my gum my lip gloss my hand sanitizer like all of my essential things that would just be thrown inside of here just willy-nilly are all inside of this so it actually does end up saving space believe it or not so i've got those in there and then I have my little coin purse from Longchamp. I wanted to kind of put this. Can I kind of squeeze this in on the side? I can, just like that. And I feel like this is probably all I can fit in this bag. Like, it's three things, which seems like not a lot, but it is three pretty bulky things. And like it fits just fine. It's not like bulging out or anything. And I have everything that I need normally. I have my phone in my pocket, so I could take it out if I wanted to and just have my mini pochette accessoire, my card holder, and then my coin purse. I mean, that's genuinely all I ever actually need. And it's so weird to just have the three things in here, but you have to again remember the mini pochette carries all of my extra shit <laughs> and also i do have pepper spray i got like a new pepper spray they sell these at target now so i can just kind of stick it on the side so yeah that's pretty much all i can fit in this bag i could again put my phone in here i could squeeze it in but i normally keep my phone in my pocket anyways because i always wear pants with pockets but yeah that's what fits in here and like believe it or not it actually does fit quite a lot compared to like other bags that i have so yeah there's the coach bag. Now let's move on to this bag. This is the newest bag to my collection again. It is the Marc Jacobs mini tote bag in the leather and in the color twine. Believe it or not, when I first got this bag, I might, I was gonna return it. Like I genuinely thought that I was gonna return it. I was like, I don't think that I'm like, I don't think I like the color. Like I'm not sure if I love the color. And I just, I wasn't sure if it was worth it because I kind of bought it not like on an impulse, but like I kind of was just like, yeah, I don't know. I'm so glad I did not return this bag. I love this bag. Let's get into the details. This bag does retail for $375. Oh, did it have a price increase? Now it's $395. It had a price increase, y'all. Wow. I got mine actually kind of at that same price because this color was like no longer available anyways. So I kind of got mine at like 380. 
Yeah, they still don't have this color on the Marc Jacobs website. A $20 price increase. Here is what she looks like. And it has the tote bag, of course, on the front. And then on the back, it has a little plaque. And it says, the Marc Jacobs style, tote bag location, NYC, year 1984. Very, very cute. And this bag is now $395 but it is full grain leather, as you can see, all the way around, and it does have a top zip closure, just like that. It does have gold hardware also, and then it also comes with its own crossbody strap as well. It has one interior slip pocket, one card slot. Oh, that's what that is, it's a card slot. I didn't know what it was. And then it has a dust bag. So both bags are leather, of course, so it's got this pocket this packet right here this is what I normally put my phone in and then it does have this other tiny little pocket right here which I actually used to put my gum before I got the mini pochette accessoire she's very she's more like flimsy she is kind of structure she does have structure to her but the sides do like to come out like this I kind of wish they didn't like I really wish the sides had a little more structure and they went in like this and didn't come out like this um, also this right here magnetizes so you have this little tongue because the zipper unzips further than the bag goes just to make sure that you can fit all of your big items inside and it magnetizes to this little bit just so it's not flopping around everywhere which is great i had to change the camera battery but yeah no this bag it's like such good quality for it not being like stupidly expensive like this bag just the craftsmanship is beautiful and on the coach bag as well like these contemporary brands are just killing it right now in my opinion i just think they're so worth it i just love them like there's absolutely nothing wrong with the stitching like the stitching is immaculate same thing again on the coach bag it's just perfect now the crossbody strap here it is and i will say i don't like either of these crossbody straps like on the coach bag or on this bag i just i don't like it i would prefer a different crossbody strap the reason i don't like the coach one is because it doesn't have a little one of these you know like one of these to put the end inside so the end just ends up like just flopping around all the all the time and i really don't like that but then i like the size of that one better like i like that it's thicker this one i don't like because it's too thin i wish it was the size of the coach one like the thickness and then also it has one of these things which i'm really happy about but it's loose like it's too loose and it doesn't actually keep keep this thing inside just falls out all the time which is really annoying because i like to wear this as a shoulder bag sometimes too i just think it looks really cute and i tried to find separate straps on amazon but i could not find one that matched the color so i'm just like shit i'm stuck with this but again it does have gold hardware and these have a lobster clasp and these are fully adjustable and removable as well and you can again make this pretty short or pretty long depending on what you prefer i don't actually wear this crossbody at all really i just prefer to wear it either top handle or on my shoulder i think it looks really cute uh on your shoulder just like that it's really really cute and then of course you can just leave it on and just have it kind of like dangling down. Like that's cute also. So you have like the option, you can top handle it for a little bit. And then if you get bored of doing that or tired, then you can cross body it or throw it over your shoulder. Again, I don't usually do that. If I know that I might get tired carrying a top handle, I just take this with me and then I just clip it on when I need to. Again, very versatile. Um, you can also, of course, wear it over like on the crook of your elbow. They're both extremely versatile bags, so I don't think that you would be upset or disappointed with either one when it came to versatility. Um, this one right here, I will say one thing regarding the top handle straps like the this part is it is very very stiff and it doesn't move very much the bottom part does a little bit but the top part is very stiff so if you do wear this crossbody i do notice that it kind of like digs in like it there's not much wiggle room there so it can be a little bit uh not annoying but like the tiniest bit uncomfortable because it's not hard to like get in and out of or anything it's just i kind of wish that they flopped down 
a little bit more. I don't know, I'm just kind of nitpicking here. I'm trying to find a couple of cons because I genuinely do love this bag, but there have been a few tiny little things that I've noticed. Now let's go to what fits in this bag. If you remember, I did do a full unboxing of this bag and it does fit my Louis Vuitton medium agenda. I am not someone that normally takes my medium agenda with me everywhere because I don't feel like I need that. Um, I don't go to like the office. I don't like go to work. I work from home and I don't have anywhere else to go that warrants me taking my medium agenda everywhere. So just know that it does definitely fit the medium agenda and it will also fit the smaller size. I don't know if it will fit the large agenda, the A5 size. So if you do know and if you have this, let me know in the comments if it does fit the A5 size agenda because it does fit the medium one pretty well with like a little extra room. Starting off, I normally put where's my phone? So I put my phone into the back pocket right here and she just fits in so nicely like it's so nice to have just like a spot to put your phone and it fits so well i've got my sunglasses case because i just really love the idea of putting i love the idea of putting my sunglasses in a case i just don't like having to like put them in like a microfiber little pouch i want them to go in like a whole ass case so this fits no problem it's gonna like all fall over now because, yeah, there we go. Cause there's not much in there right now. I kind of just end up shimmying stuff in. So I do have my multi pochette accessoire right here that I will put inside. And she just kind of goes right in, just right in there. And then I have my card holder kind of behind that. And then I, I would show you, but I'm afraid it's just all gonna fall over. There we go, like that. And then what I like to do is I actually do, again, I carry this strap with me just in case if I need to, I don't know, change the way that I'm wearing it. If I need to clip it on and do it over my shoulder or a crossbody moment, then I do have the chance to do that. I can still do that. And I guess this is a pro of the strap being thin because if it was a thicker strap, this might be harder to actually get in the bag. Yeah, so that's all one side fully packed. And then on the other side, I normally just keep my little key pouch, or not key pouch, coin purse. Yeah, my little coin purse on the other side, just like that, and it fits so nicely in there. Can you see her? And then I just put my pepper spray just like on next to that. And that's it. That's what she fits all in there. And then of course you could, you know, take stuff out, change it up. You could put other stuff in there, but this is what I have in here. And I am genuinely just obsessed with this bag. It will also fit a water bottle as well. Like could totally fit a water bottle. Also, there's plenty of space, like, up here so you could fit other stuff like just up at the top if you wanted to um like you could fit your water bottle at the top here and then still be able to zip it you could put in like maybe a small little jacket or like a little cardigan or something something pretty small like super thin would fit in here i don't have anything else to fit in here so i just zip it and that's all she wrote i love this bag i'm so obsessed with it i'm i adore it so much and I'm so glad that I kept it because I was like this close to sending it back, but I'm so glad I didn't. So yeah, you guys, that has been my comparison of the Coach Pillow Tabby Bag in the 26 size and the Marc Jacobs Mini Tote Bag in the color Twine. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Uh, let me know if you have either one of these bags. Let me know if you've been eyeing either one of these bags. Just leave me a comment down, be down below telling me anything because I'm nosy and I wanna know that. But you guys, thank you again for watching this video. I hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to. And again, be sure to ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!